that is their way to communicate, you know? And not only that, but through behavior. I get a lot of clients with behavioral problems. And they can communicate with you, but you're not only you're not always sure they're communicating with you because you're not recognizing it. You know what I mean? So when when they realize that you're not recognizing the way that they're trying to communicate, it will then many times lead to a behavioral problem because that's how they end up having to communicate, say, there's something wrong. I mean, a, a very good example of this is when a cat starts to pee, you know? I mean, a lot of times they'll, people will automatically say, well, you know, she must be upset or whatever, but sometimes, a lot of times, it's that they're, they have a, a urinary tract infection. The cats are saying, you need to take me to the doctors. There's something wrong with me. I'm not feeling well. So you always, you know, when you have a behavioral problem, whether it's barking inappropriately or whatever, you always want to look, is there something that they're trying to tell me? Are they in pain? Are they upset about something? And also look at your home environment because is there stress going on? Is there something that has changed in the household? Has somebody moved? Has, is somebody going through a, a, a particular problem? Is there a high stress situation going on? Because a lot of times behavioral problems or the extra barking or the extra scratching or the extra whatever it is, that's when it'll show up. And that's, a, for me at least, that's the first thing I will start to ask when somebody comes to me with a behavioral problem. Because it's their way to communicate.